Uh, Salut everyone and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness where where the Le Font says where we are taking on the world so um I'm gonna level with you guys um I'd actually played ahead and recorded a lot of stuff but what happened was is that now that we're in like the late game like 1928 um, my game's starting to crash more and more, and so this is becoming a more and more unstable game. So, what I'm going to start doing is, um, let's see, let me go to options and do this. Um, game, game, video, not video, yearly, okay, game saves, I'm going to save every half a year now, so that we do not lose our project, because I, I lost a lot of things. So, um, salute again, everyone. Um, so what I did last time, what the things I did last time was basically I said I realized a couple things. Um, first of all, the Russians are doomed. Um, the Russians are doomed because they just they just cannot fight against as much. Their their army is gonna all die. But the good thing about Russia dying and being conquered is just that they're gonna be the Russians. I mean not the Russians, the Germans and the Swedish are gonna be so tied up with this war and the bad infrastructure of the of the uh, Russians that they'll spend hours and days and days and days in this place so that means we will have enough time and since they're cut off with Poland since Poland is out of this war the Germans are cut off with the army so this is the final Germans army now why am I mentioning this well see when I was originally fighting this um, I realized that this army in here all the Germans army all the Germans might we could probably take if I maneuver this right, if I don't make any mistakes, we can probably take on this German army. We don't have to be afraid of this German army over here. It's if they had this army with them that I probably would have to be afraid. But since I don't, we could probably be afraid. We don't have to be afraid. So what I'm going to do is um is do a little bit of moving in. So I'm going to move these guys in right here and then reinforce right here. Um, what else I'm going to do is to make sure that my front does not get any malnutrition. And when I can... I'm going to try to move this entire front right here to right here. To, you know, first of all, I want to make sure that the Germans are completely cut off from using this land to, like, keep moving in right here and making us, like, defend right here, but also keep a more even front. So, you know, that's what I'm going to try to do, and, you know, that's what I realized about this front while I was fighting, and I nearly made it. I was, like, right about here when the game crashed on me, which was, like, five months from now which I was going on really slow snail speed so you can imagine that was a very long time for me okay so next thing I realized is over here in the Ottomans land um I didn't realize this but the Persians are actually fighting for us and what the Persians did was actually quite amazing they took over this much land from the Ottomans and the Ottomans right now are not in a strong position at all they are having rebel problems and the United States and the Italians are moving in over here so what we're gonna do is take our s steamer ships and also hopefully do this um, we're gonna take our steamer ships move them all the way up here to our Irish campaign and then send all these soldiers to um, Istanbul to go take down the capital and I will hopefully do some things and I'll be right back people sorry okay I'm back alright so yeah we're just gonna be moving in casually with our men over here and you know taking this ship from over here, this ship right over here pick up our troops from Wales and move them in and I think the scars have the advantage to deal with all this but just in case I'm gonna move in some of my men and something else I realized is um, if we have a chance to add more war goals I'm gonna be the one to do it immediately because I definitely don't want the United States or Italy taking too much from these places while I've only taken like two things. And one thing doesn't even really count, which is humiliate, free the nation of Moldavia, which is hopefully going to help the stupid Romanians, but you never know. The Romanians are pretty dumb when it comes to moving in. And I'm not dumb enough to go in to attack the front of the uh, Germans. That's just not me. I'm sorry. You guys are going to have to come after me. I'm just going to make a tad attack right here. 
Okay. They have a hole right here. I'm going to exploit it right now before they get some men into it. And move some of our backup men. Ah, uh, dang. I don't know who got that first. Okay. Making more holes. I see. Okay, so now we have... They seem to be wanting to stay steadfast. Okay, now we got this advantage right here. So last time what I did was... With this little hole that I have right here, um, they went through a little bit. What I did was that once they, you know, had their maximum amount of men come in and try to torch me. Shoot, I just remembered that that's actually a hole. Moving all, moving like two different games of men to go crush these Germans. But, um, what I did was that I just moved in my men and just covered up these entire sides to make sure that the Germans couldn't do anything. Which actually was quite effective. I mean, we won. We won the end. The end product was pretty great because we won by like a lot. So, you know, yeah. So we're gonna try to duplicate that again. Um, we have a little bit more amassing of wealth. I'm gonna move these guys in right there. I'm gonna move these guys in right there. Swapping them. There we go. So yeah, they're going pretty heavily on this front right here. Um, over here we aren't having too many difficulties except for these two battles. So I'm going to go send that army right there. And this army I'm going to split up so that's not so big. Move that right there. Let's go. Whew! Okay. And since this arm, since this rear is now safe, I'm gonna go use this army to go right over here and go take over that. And they're still heavily fortified right here, but all right. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take over Cleves. So we're gonna I'm gonna try to do a big push for Cleves. I think they have a good force right there in the back to protect them. That sinks. Well, I'm going to move in some more men from my rear. Battle of Liege. Where are they retreating to? Okay. Um. Okay, so we have enough men on this front. Okay, let me get this out of the way and let me get this out of the way. That's distracting. Um, yeah, this makes it much clearer where the front is and where everyone's battling. Okay, so right now, the Germans are still in a pretty safe position. Um, are they going to try to do a blitz and click? Yes, they are trying to do a blitz and click. See? People belong to doubt me when I said that the Germans do do blitz and clicks. Okay, you know, I'm just going to wait for them to leave. You know, it would make it much easier. Oh, shoot, these guys are coming at waves. Never mind, I'm going to have to close this pocket as quickly as possible. Move in all these guys. And apparently they left, they're leaving some of the men, some of their places unguarded. I'm going to take advantage of this weakness. And move in a little bit. Okay, go to the Battle of Cleves. Okay. Massive, wow, this is a massive battle. Okay, so... Okay, so we have a couple... I'm leaving lots of holes right now because I'm trying to duplicate my strategy I did last time. Which, I better go right here because I probably won't make it in time. Okay. Yeah, this is... They're trying to... They're trying to definitely rush through my lines. And trying to definitely get through a hole of mine. Um... I don't think they're going to, but you never know in this game. Okay, how have my troops, have my ships reached? Okay, so they have. Get on here, and we're going to go attack the uh, Ottomans' capital. Which, honestly, should not be that hard. <laughs> I mean, we'll control the capital, and then we'll go send these men to go down here. To go Alatish, and let's see how we... Hmm... I want to make sure we're one of the first people to add war goals, and these people are cleaning up this army pretty well. Um, over here, in all of our fronts, we seem to be dealing with some major battles by the 
um, German forces. They seem to be wanting to like push through this. I think what they're hoping is a a big crack right here. And what I'm going to do is to block any more troops from coming in right there. I'm going to send some troops right there to like block up that region. Help us out over there. Over here, what I'm going to do is combine these guys, split them up, send half of them to go up to Tunzenberg, and try to... Um, we, have to, we have to spread out a lot because since we don't want to take too much nutrition, we have to spread out. Let's see if that worked out the way I wanted to. Okay, yeah, we spread out exactly how I wanted it to be. Okay, and over here we have four main battles happening. Mm, excuse me. We have four main battles happening. We have this battle, this battle, this battle, and this battle. And these are all crucial battles which... We, as the French, may not or have may not or have the liberty to lose. So, I'm gonna go send in more men to go help out the battles. And since now, since this line is kind of defenseless, I'm gonna spread out my troops a little bit to try to close out the pocket, for say. Hopefully, yes, they don't have any men right there. So, this makes it even easier. We will completely close out the pocket right here. And that way, whatever men are stranded in here, we just have to deal with them in a little bit. But we don't have to deal with them directly right now. We have more men coming in from over there. Most of these battles, we seem to be, seem to have the upper number advantage, so... Um, except for that battle right there, which... Um... I'm gonna go through Matez, and then... No, no, wait, wait. What you better do is go balance half, go right there, go right there. No go through there and then go through my tents because it's gonna take a lot longer trust me to go through another battle and then to reach more men and to just go through okay there we go and seems to be no real holes in anywhere um they finally engaged me over here which is good because these are the final these are the final men on this side which means once we have this entire side over here we basically cut them off from you know men but we want to make sure we keep some of our men back so that when these guys break we have enough you know reserves okay so I'm gonna go send these guys in over here to kind of mm. see I can't really do much but I'm pretty sure this is like the full might of their army because there's nothing else besides this out right now and I'm starting to gain like lots of money I don't know why Oh, shoot, the Battle of Coast of Brittany. That is not good. Because that probably implies that it was over here. Oh, no, it was probably the Battle of Brittany, so that means it was probably over here, which means I probably lost a lot of troops, didn't I? Yep. Which means I probably lost... Ouch. Okay, what I should have done is I wasn't really being smart. Do this. Let's engage the Brit. Let's have a little bit of fun with their navy. Do you know what? Their navy is nowhere near. Even if the Germans may have a navy, they don't have as nearly as good as mine. I'm willing to bet you anything on it that my navy is way better. So let's have a little bit tearing fun. Keep sending these guys would still be enough to go take down the Ottomans' capital. So keep sending them over here. Um, actually, let's stop at at um. Albania so that we make sure we get that war goal stifened and Still can't add a war goal because I want to make sure that if we can we want to make sure we're one of the first people to add a war goal and The Germans are apparently annihilating my ships, but definitely they will not win So I have way too many I have way too many dreadnoughts. I'm basically relying on a mass attack Where they cannot fight off as many troops. Yeah, they can't I'm guaranteeing they can't fight off as many ships as I have. They could try, but they really can't. And, oh, oops, oops, I completely forgot about this. Um, What I need to do is I'm calling my ally the uh, Spanish. Because the Spanish, I didn't realize this actually helped me out a lot. Like, when you add in the Spanish into the mix, ah, oh, dang it. Alright, these are all destroyed, okay. 
these aren't my actual transports. I thought these were my transports. Go over here, go go help your brothers engage the uh, nasty Germans. Okay. Um, wow, they get much further. Yeah, they got much further than I thought they did. Okay. We're definitely winning these fronts. Um, we're definitely winning these fronts. We're not winning these fronts, but I'm pretty sure the Germans just don't have the military. Over here, though, how are we doing on most of these fronts? We can't let any one of these fronts lose. Like, one of these fronts lose, we basically have a German force that could potentially come at us at a very rapid pace and destroy us. Which would be very bad. And this is like a lot of regions that could be covered in just one spot. Um, hmm. I'm gonna need to divide myself, go right here, go right here, and then move these guys in right there. Okay, for you guys, you guys move in right there, move in right there. You guys divide a little bit. Move one guy right there. Move one guy, dang, this is like, okay, I have a couple more, I have a lot more men over here. I think most of these battles are like turning against us, so I'm gonna go send in some of these guys. Ah, dang, the battle Kobets. Well, I have instantly more men coming, so. Okay, I have to obviously pay attention a little bit better. As much as I love the... Okay, just... There. Uh, okay, so... Um... Yeah, I did not play this as effectively as I did last time. Wow, I got there just in time, and they killed me. Yeah, but I'm not playing this as effectively as I did first time. But I'm still, I still feel like I'm still going to win this. I'm, I think I'm slowly itching out most of the men. And most of the men are in major battles, which um, I seem to be mostly winning. Or if I'm not mostly, I'm seeming to go in really close to winning. Mm-hmm. And most of these battles are pretty, pretty biased. And it seems like, yeah, okay, so the Germans have completely pulled off all the troops from over here. That means this is probably the main force of the army. I'm going to completely attack them again right here. Because we want to make sure that they're pushed out completely of our land. I got a couple good forces. Let's go use them over here. Um... I'm going to go use these forces to go tip the balance of our army a little bit. We have another good force right here. Any armies that need, because we have one, two, one, okay. Doesn't seem like anyone particularly needs my help. It seems like we're doing fine in almost every way. So I'm going to take a moment to look away. The Battle of the Canals. Right over here. I now control the canals with my awesome fleet over here we have a good amount of men I'm gonna go send some of it to go kill these guys okay we got we should have a a ships in position now yeah okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move them in on the uh, Albanian provinces that way we have a war score racked up and it does not start counting against us okay and I don't remember this at all so Does that mean that we can slowly add more war goals? The battle of Sheloy. Okay, so we just won a battle. That means that there's probably lots of troops that are just running amok right now somewhere. Oh, this must be the battle of Sheloy. Okay. Seems like... Okay, I'm winning the vast majority of these battles. Should go right here, though. Kind of even out my front. Hmm. I'm definitely pushed them... I've definitely pushed those Germans to a very, very uncomfortable spot. Um... Ooh. Cease, really? Go... Go right there, and go right there. 
Heaven fixed. That one, I should get there just in time, yeah. Still losing rapidly more men than they are. That, I don't know what modifier the Germans have to, like, get this, to, like, get this much men, but it honestly kills me. <laughs> like, this special war score, or some unheard of war that they have, honestly hurts my... Okay, go right there, then go right there, then go right there. Okay, you see, you're making a full circle. Okay, you guys... Hmm. Go right there. You guys go right there. Okay. Block them. I know exactly where they're going. Yeah. Lazy names are going to adapt. Yeah, I knew exactly what they were about to do. They were about to go and try to use that army to go somewhere else, which is not good. Okay. Are we, vast, are we winning the vast majority of these? Okay, so we're, rap we're rapidly crushing through their northern German lines. Can't exactly pull these guys. I think we can now start pulling these guys away. Um. Um. I wish, okay, so this is how we'll do it. We'll go right here, go right here, go right here, go right here, go right there. We'll completely dodge the battles, that way we can finish the bay. I think we just want a battle that's good, and I think the siege over here is probably done. No, not yet. Still has a little bit, and whoa, the Ottomans have a lot of rebels. That's good. That means we are probably winning this by a lot, and... Shoot, why are the other powers being able to add war goals, and I can't? That's unfair. I mean, I'm not losing this war. I'm the one who's mainly fighting it. And the Russians are the one who's mainly losing it. <laughs> okay. So we have... Okay, seems like the Spanish have guarded me back there, so I can move back some of our troops. There we go. Okay. And these German troops don't... I think are trying to figure out what they're supposed to do. And I'm going to let them figure out what they're supposed to do. And I'm going to go attack them so that they'll stop being in my land or whatever. The Battle of Linigan. The Battle of Colbaz. Okay, the Battle of Colbaz ended in our, in our victory, which is good. Um, over here, we still got some soldiers. Okay, we are... We're doing it, people. We're winning this war with a good stiff upper lip. Okay. Okay. Yeah, most of them are respawning back behind the line, which is what we need them to do. We don't want any holes in our army at all. If there's any holes, then we're doomed. And, you know, the Spanish are doing that little conquest, which is, you know, strangely helping, I guess, in a way. Um, fooled by the German army is, you know... It's a full might, what can they do? I'm starting to edge after them. So there's not much they can do. Okay, I'm gonna push back here. Okay. What I'm gonna do here is go right here, 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 go right there. Okay. Then from there we'll divide the unit. That way we have a good even front right here. That way we don't have to deal with any defenses. Mm hmm Okay, and we just finished up with a conquest of here. Which means I'll send these guys to go right there, right there, right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. This is looking really good. Okay. Um one thing we want to make sure is that we conquer Berlin, so I'm just going to you know, send some men to go on a little bit of an individual mission to go take on Berlin. Okay, we took down Oldenburg's troops. I'll move into Bremen, because we can. Um, move into Oschenburg, because I think the rest of the troops are going to be guarding the rest of the places. Um, this is... This is a pretty intensive initiative and oh my goodness I lost a battle where I lost a battle somewhere that's not good 
Okay, I think it was right back here. Now this is not good. Stay right here. Do not move a muscle. We're going to hold the line. Um, technically, this is still a good line because they can't move in. Um, now this, though, this presents a really big problem because now we have a big, gigantic open space. Anyway, we could... Okay, we can move up some of these guys to go cover up some of the open space, but... Hmm... Yeah, this is... This game kind of tricky. Okay. Move up the rest to Mulwich. Um, stop any troops that might try to do a hole breaching right there. Um, and we have our troops, our brave troops, going directly towards Berlin. And just landing troops right on the capital. I don't even care. And I should see, like, a big gigantic scatter for... Okay, so what can I do to block these guys from getting up here? I can go in direct composition. Um, right here. Right here. That should, yeah, that should move it up the front enough so that they can't get any, exploit any of these holes. Yeah, there we go. We stopped any holes that might have formed with that maneuver. That's good. And... Whew. Okay, now the Albanian conquest should be done, right? Yes. Let's move into Valor. That should be the last Albanian province we need to fulfill our goals. Long live France. Okay. So let's go right here to Valor. Okay. I lost? What? What is with all these losers? Okay, well, anyways... Apparently there was a lot of war goals added, and I wasn't included into this. Um, and apparently I lost the Battle of Cleves. I don't know if the Battle of Cleves was actually very important now that I think about it. It's not one of those major battles I was really thinking we were going to... Oh no, what I want you to do is go right there, and then go right there. No, go right there, then go right there, and then go right there. No, then go right there. Yeah, just... We're gonna crush those guys. <laughs> Through outnumberings. We can move in just slightly right there. Okay, we just won a big major battle. Okay, they moved all the troops to right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of my troops from right there. Crush back a little bit. Split up this side so that I still have defense of both positions. Mm-hmm. There we go. That way I'm still also conquering this region. And they're taking... The Spanish are taking control of some of these conquests, which is good, because we need them. And I'm almost done conquering Berlin. Wow. Okay, we're going to have to wait for some of these places to finish their little expansion. Okay. And... This should be almost done. Okay, there we go. Move in just slightly... Heavy artillery is now enabled, and I'm getting down to one frame per second. This is... Oh, no. Okay, good. It almost crashed on me, so I'm going to save it right here. Okay, save right now. Right now, so we do not lose any of this progress. Because we're getting pretty close. I may have to even... Maybe... may have to play the entire game from right here, which is really hard to see. Okay, um, let's go right over here. Yeah, once I conquer this, then that should be the last region, and then I'm just going to send these guys to go to Istanbul, and we're just going to take over the rest of that. The Americans and the Japanese are moving in quite quickly to the Ottomans. The Ottomans are losing. Um, we're rapidly pushing back all of the, uh, um, force that the, uh, Germans have. I mean, the major battles have not been won yet, but... Ooh, I did not see that hole right there. My bad, I did not realize we had a hole, like, right there. Okay. What I probably could have done is use some of these guys to block it up, but I wasn't thinking. I didn't even know we had one, so I'll use this to now block up this hole so that it's not... So we have no more of this hole. And start trying to take over all these. Actually, this got blocked up, so... Go right here. 
attack some of these guys. About a Wentz and Ben. Okay. I'm waiting for these battles to finish. These three battles right here. But lots of my soldiers are engaged. That will be pretty big battles to like win. I keep it I keep those right there. Okay, can I move up these guys? Yes I can. Probably should move them up right there. That way I have a good amount of men. And I'm almost done with Berlin who has all the railway connections apparently. Oh that's so awesome. You know. And so we'll be able to take them down right there. And the Germans have a major advantage against me. I've killed most of my men. Crush him. Dig deep and greedy. Okay, don't stop like this. Keep moving on. Okay, you guys and the other army, make sure you kill off this one unit. Okay, I lost the battle of Molster. It's not one of these three main battles, so I'm not particularly worried. And to be honest with you, um, I have Berlin, so I don't think I'm very much worried about whatever the German says is statistically I'm losing. Because honestly, statistics are pretty much wrong in this war, because I'm... We're, even though the Germans have like the most war score ever, they're losing by a lot. Okay. Sent half of this army to go help reinforce these guys. So we have a good kind of good advantage point from right here. Over here, we can't really do much without just messing up our line. But I see some men right there, so I think that's the last of it. So I'm just going to take over the Kneve Canal and make sure that these guys won't be able to do anything. Over here we might as well, from Berlin, we might as well just start taking over as much as we can. Um, we're now moving into Prague. Okay. And we still have these major battles right here. Mm. And again, the only thing reason why we're losing score over bonus time. We also took over the uh, Albanian region. I would like to point that out right now, but again, the only reason why it says we're losing is because of poor score. Okay, so now that we're done, go directly towards the capital and just take that over. That way, you know, France has the most say in almost everything, because we control. If we control all three of the enemy's capitals, then, you know, that's great. I mean, you, you respect the guy with power, but you definitely expect a guy who controls the capital. At least I would think so. So I'm going to move these guys in. No, actually, there's already these guys are going to be the ones that are going to be moving in to go help these guys out. There we go. Our name has been discredited a little bit. We're going to keep pursuing these guys. Over here, we're still winning. Um... Okay, Brunswick. Rubenstein. Hmm. It's getting much, it's getting easier and easier to conquer these because we're not actually towards the main forts. Most of the main forts have been the Battle of Tier. I think this is one of those major battles that we were going for. Yes, it was one of those major battles. So we just won the Battle of Tier, which should delete some of that overall battle rating. But fascist. The fascists are definitely going to give us a, a hard shake, a hardship. But most of their land is underneath, or most of it's underneath our control, or rapidly becoming underneath under control. I'll keep eight, 60 men here to make sure that both these battles turn out fine. But yeah, we mostly have the German army on the run. Oh, now the Germans are done. So everyone, how was the how was the Great War on your mind? Like, did it end? I guess I'll ask this question. Did this Third Great War appease you guys? How do you think this war ranked? Because I think, in all honesty, this war was much more bloody than our Austrian war ever was. In our first Austrian war, it was, you know, just kind of light. It was just kind of light, and, you know, we just kind of, oh, the Great War expands. And, you know, we lost a couple men, but, I mean, we're, we lost major amounts of men in this war. 
I mean, I could never, I'd say we lost at least 1.1 million people in this war because it was pretty expansively big. And we're almost done conquering all of mainland um, Germany. I mean, they don't have much left. And how is the Germans? The Germans are still moving in pretty rapidly over here, but... The backup has basically failed. I've basically taken over all of the Germans' land over here. So, you know, what do you do when all when all your when your mainland's been conquered and all your troops are in a different land? I don't know, but I'm taking over the Ottoman place. Um, we've wrapped. We almost connected our two territories over here, hoping. Oh my goodness, Turkey. I mean, not Turkey. Oh uh, my Persian people are having a little bit of difficulties with their control so since they are an ally of us I'm gonna give up my defense and go defend their capital where's the capital like here in Terran I'm gonna go defend their capital because they have no men to like to help themselves and as you can see the the Germans are rapidly the Germans are probably pretty frustrated right now because almost all the mainland has been conquered and they can't really do much about it oh well Okay, I have some troops over here. Good job. And they made a tank! Wow! That's a pretty big accomplishment for my African colonies. Okay, so... We got our troops over here. Okay, let's get back to the actual main battles. Okay. Um... Trying to tell what regions we have and what regions we don't have is becoming a little bit more and more difficult. Um... Now that we're so far into the conquest spree, it's like, mm-hmm. And we have military access with, with um, Poland, so that means if we really had to, we could probably go in and start backstabbing the uh, things. But I think what we're going to do is, basically, we're going to move through the, uh, um, what is it called? The uh, Swedish land and start taking over the Swedish from behind. Because they obviously, I think that they've honestly overextended themselves over here. Because I don't think they'd be getting much money or much power because I've almost taken over the entire region. So they must, the army must be nearing collapse. Okay, and so we have these little pocketed. We just won this battle, so that means there's a lot of little tiny troops that are trying to recover their manpower. We need to quickly go smash them to make sure they do not get away. Surround them. Do whatever you have to. Just make sure they all die. Okay, go right here. Go kill off these guys. Um, let's help this siege go a little bit quicker. Um, go right here to make sure that these guys win. Over here, oh, the Scotland, the Scottish are helping us out over here. I wonder if I could actually form an alliance with you guys. No, dang, I thought I could. Well, in the light of it, I thought I could form an alliance with you guys so that we could like go in and go take on fancy guys. So, anyways, we are. Wow, we are just rapidly approaching the end of this. This is the Germans lost what seems like astronomical levels. I'm gonna move in these guys to go help a little bit. So we won another battle. Seems like there's more and more Germans starting to pop up over here. I'm gonna have to start dealing with them a little bit more. But I'm keeping the pressure on them, which is what I have to do. I think I didn't get that little region. So let's go right there, let's go right there. And actually, you know, after we conquer all of Germany, I think I'll de-deploy because I don't think I'll need to be deployed anymore. Which is going to be awesome because I'll put less stress on my army. And since I'm making all you, look how much money I'm already making. I'm not even, like, fully deployed. So let's go move in right here. Defeat those last little Germans hidden over here in the mountains. Okay, they obviously retreated. We're going to go try to go kill them. Okay, lots of little battles here and there. The Germans have basically been surrounded and I say basically are dead. Um, because their armies, I can defeat these little tiny armies pretty, pretty effectively. This is not going to take me more than a couple tries. I mean, yeah, look at this. Mm-hmm. A hundred men versus eighteen. I mean, the Germans can fight as much as they want, but they're dead over here. Over here in the capital, there's some fighting going on. 
And the Battle of Danzabar. No!